This problem might look a lot like the previous problem, except with one minor difference. So in the previous problem, you went from air to some sort of optical coating to glass, which each uh, had a higher index of refraction than the former. Now, in this case, you have a soap border, but in both sides of it, you have air, which are both lower indices of refraction from the soap border itself. Uh, and that being said, you have uh, two reflections that are gonna come about from an incident uh, light wave. The first reflection is going to be inverted because you're going from a lower to a higher index of refraction. But then the transmitted wave is going to come about, go into the soap border uh, and then be reflected here. This reflection is going to be upright because it's going from a higher index to a lower index of refraction. So uh, you're gonna have versus an inverted wave and a upright wave, and those two need to interfere in such a way. Um, in this particular problem, there's another difference, and I didn't catch this before, so I wasted a lot of time making a video on the opposite. Uh, so we'll discuss this at the end of this video. Uh, the problem says that uh, at the very front of the bubble, it appears green. Now, to me, that says that the waves interfere constructively, especially a green wavelength of 540 nanometers. They interfere constructively in this case, and you want to make it such that this happens with our little diagram. Okay, so, and then, so what we're going to do is we're going to discuss that, but we're also going to discuss what's going to happen, um, how do we make them interfere destructively as well, just so we have that on our hands. Again, uh, note that the wavelengths are not consistent in this picture. So uh, what I like to do is I like to start a wave at the very crest as it hits the first border, but then uh, we don't know what the wave's gonna look like in here because we're gonna be doing trial and error. So again, the three trial and errors that you wanna uh, look at are, you wanna put the whole wavelength in here, see how that reflects, you want to put a half wavelength in there, see how that reflects. And you want to put a quarter wavelength in there, and you want to see how that reflects. And what you want to compare it to is the wave that is being reflected off of uh, the first border towards the bubble. And we'll call this reflection one. So now I'm gonna, we're going to sleuth by those three options what kind of wave being upright reflected is going to interfere constructively to the first to make that green color for the soap bubble. So this time we're doing a constructive interference and we're not going to invert the second wave going back towards air. Okay, um, again, without doing any of the trial and errors, I'll give you the correct answer. And the correct answer happens to, interestingly enough, be a quarter wavelength as well. So let's just pretend I did, you know, two other trials. In the third trial, I decide, okay, I'm going to just do a quarter wavelength. And then it's going to go through the uh, second border and continue on. Now, if it's being reflected, then the part that's going down here is actually going to be reflected down here. So the wavelength is going to continue going down as a reflection instead of as well as the transmission. And that's because it's an upright reflection. It's not an inverted reflection. Like in the last problem, if it was inverted, it would go up instead. So we're gonna continue this wavelength that you see transmitted down here. You can just continue it here. And of course, it's going to interfere with the first border again and transmit through like that. And you can see that this reflection two interferes with reflection one in a constructive manner.